I'm so sorry that I couldn't meet you on time. Yeah, no problem. I'm on my way going back to Ghana, yeah. but I still have to do this. Yeah, for sure. Tell me your name and where you're from. So, my name is Jamal Atkins. Um, I'm from East Baltimore, Maryland, um, United States, East Coast, uh, representing the DMV. Um, and I'm here in Zambia, been in Zambia since 2000, been living in Zambia since 2006, been on the continent uh, a little bit before then. We came over January 2005. Um, so this has been home for me for nearly 15 years. Uh, spent most of it here in Zambia. What brought you to the continent? Um, originally, it was supposed to be taking one year off from uh, pursuing my basketball career and just deciding to help some youth. And I got to South Africa many years ago and just being in South Africa and the way I was treated, the way I was received, it changed my life. It gave me an opportunity to just look at things differently. And I fell in love with South Africa, but ultimately I fell in love with the continent. And um, every country I went to, it grew and grew and grew. Um, so many now, maybe up to, I think 14, but nothing has been like Zambia. You said you fell in love with the continent. What was your expectations before coming? Well. My mom's a teacher and um, I'm, I don't think I'm super intelligent, but I, I studied a lot in school. So I knew a lot about the continent. I even had some, some, some African uh, very good friends. One of my best friends in college, Simon Boala is from Zambia. Um, and he was one of the greatest guys and, and an awesome soccer player. Uh, and and uh, Farai, a Zimbabwean guy who was in one of my media classes. So I had good images and good thoughts, but I just didn't know that I didn't know, you know? And I got to Durban, which was my first city, and it was like, living in Tampa, Florida, where I was moving from. The weather was great, the water was there, things were pretty cool. Um, and I know some people see South Africa as a dangerous place, and I guess it can be, but like I said, I'm from East Baltimore, so it, that wasn't a problem at all. Uh, what exactly are you doing in Zambia right now? The two things I'm doing is running and operating Basketball Academy of Excellence, which is a skills development program. I um, help basketball players hone their skills, become better athletes, and get them an the opportunity to get to university, both in the U.S. and in Asia. I've been able to send uh, now nine Zambian students on to, to greater opportunities through the work we do at Basketball Academy of Excellence. We recently just sent Lastin Jamakala in September down to the uh, 4A Sports Academy, and he's doing great. And so we're looking to send the next guy. So that's Basketball Academy of Excellence. And then my second passion is technology. I own and operate Wired Integration Zambia, and we design audio and video systems, lighting, biometric entry, control, actuated systems. Um, I have a team of young men who work with me regularly, and we just try and go and, and help our clients. Do you think that your fellow African Americans should invest in Africa? Yes. I do believe as African Americans, it is, um, it is very important that we take time to invest, um, especially here in Africa. Um, I would say come to Zambia, but it doesn't have to be Zambia. Find a country that you can find a passion point, find a country that you can connect to, and make sure you bring um, not only your finances, but your time and your education and your experience, because that's the real investment, being able to um, give people the knowledge that we were, that we were able to get. Um, that's important, and I believe it's um, it's paramount to become to become a world citizen. We have to come back and give back what we got, um, although it wasn't our choice. But it is our privilege, so we, we, we must come back and get something done. Final words to your fellow African Americans who don't feel like Africa is home. Um, I can't really tell you that it is home, but I can tell you that we are here, and when you get here to see us, you'll find out that it is home. Please come. We're here in Zambia. We're in multiple countries. He'll have our contacts. You can find me online. Um, Google my name, Jamal K. Atkins. Google Basketball Academy of Excellence. Do whatever it takes, but find the information yourself. Don't trust somebody else's word to say what does and does not happen on the continent of Africa, because I promise you, it is not 100% true. Thank you so much for talking to me. Appreciate it, brother. Thanks for your time.